what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i want to talk about the hidden exotic we know is in the game but at the moment no one knows how to obtain it now there are a few ideas but nothing factual as of yet but before we get into the video guys if you want to win some epic loot in the form of exclusive emblem and spiral codes simply drop a like on this video and join my discord server linked within the video description Okay, so the exotic in question in today is Osiris' ghost. On screen now we can see this beauty. And I ain't talking about that just behind the voice of Sagira. Well, actually I might be. So Sagira basically accompanied us through the entire Curse of Osiris campaign. And I actually really liked her. Now I'm not actually talking about the actress behind the voice of Sagira here. Then again, I actually might be. But yeah. I think it was actually a seriously refreshing change from Nolan North. Now, would I take her over Nolan North as a permanent accomplice? Absolutely. Now, I'm not saying this because of the actress behind the voice of Sigira. Well, actually, I'm saying it for that exact reason. But yeah, on a serious note, she is hot. You can't deny that. Yes, okay, okay, let's move on. So yeah, this ghost show. I believe this game's first exotic ghost show is hidden somewhere in this game. People have speculated it could be a part of Ever vs Bright Engrams, but I don't know. If it was, and they confirmed it, I might actually be half tempted to purchase some silver just to get her as my ghost show. Now, not because of the actress behind it. <laughs> okay, 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 people. But yeah, if it was a part of these Bright Engrams, surely they would show people how it's unlockable, due to the very reason many people would probably purchase them to try their luck in getting this. And Bungie being Bungie, and this game basically heading towards a game where it's best in-game loot comes from Bright Engrams, I'd be surprised if it was actually a part of them, without them announcing it. Some people have speculated it's a rare drop in the raid layer. Now to me that doesn't make sense, not with what we know so far about this new raid layer. It's pretty much confirmed to be a Cabal themed raid. So how would Osiris' ghost shell be associated or relate to this Cabal raid? It just doesn't make sense. In saying that though we don't know the full story behind this new red layer, it could indeed come with a few surprises, we'll just have to wait and see. Now where I think it might come from is a quest line after you've completed all 11 verses on Mercury. Now we know in the Destiny 2 database there are confirmed to be 10 verse weapons which we can see of. But there are actually 11 confirmed weapons which drop here, Bungie announced this on a stream. I speculated about this in a video I posted earlier about the 11th weapon being a questline weapon that rewards you a perfect paradox. This is Saint-14 shotgun which I think will relate to the hidden room on Mercury's up and up adventure where we can actually see Saint-14. If you missed that video you will find it linked within the video description, it's pretty epic, you must check it out. But yeah, the 11th verse weapon quest line upon completed I believe would lead to an overall quest for this ghost show. So basically once that wall plaque thing uh, which beholds all 11 nodes within the lighthouse has been filled, we might just get another quest line from Ikora or Brother Vance which leads us to obtain this game's first exotic ghost show, Sagira. But hey, that is just my opinion, nothing has been mentioned or found yet so we just don't know. The perks on this ghost show though are pretty epic, we have your welcome, detects caches and resources within a 75 meter range on Mercury, that's almost, I think it's that double uh, what other ghost shells offer on other planets. We have Omni Telemetry, generate gunsmith telemetry data on elemental weapon kills. And we have Scion of Mercury, increased glimmer and the chance to obtain additional faction consumables on Mercury. So she seems pretty cool. And I ain't saying that because of the actress behind the voice of Sagira. Well actually I am. And on that note guys, I am out. You people must think I am obsessed with Marina Beckerin. And you'd probably be right. <laughs> but guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me your thoughts on this exotic ghost show. How do you believe it's obtained? Let me know down below. But thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand